Social Computing for Business, lecture by screencast on social media sentiment analysis. So what is sentiment analysis? In text analysis, sentiment is the attitude or opinion expressed towards something such as a person, product, organization, or location. Sentiment can be positive, this car is great, negative, this car is overpriced, or neutral, this car is red. The process of determining the sentiment of text using computers requires highly trained algorithms. The purpose of this lecture is to show you the varied way to extract meaning from bulk words. So how is sentiment analysis used? Modern software has been developed to analyze text and to separate words that have a positive, neutral or negative tone. The purpose of this is to analyze what users of a product or service, for example, feel about using it. Companies are now using sentiment analysis heavily, sometimes in place of focus groups to get an accurate impression of how their brand is perceived in reality. IBM have uh, a form of sentiment analysis due to the fact that they acquired a company called Alchemy API and the idea is that the techniques and uh, capabilities of Alchemy API will be migrated into IBM Watson to enrich it. So let's have a look at IBM sentiment and cognitive analysis. IBM has used IBM Watson and machine learning to automate the way text can be gathered via intelligent questioning and re related to other questions in the right context. Where the context is key, you can have the same answer mean completely different things in a different context. IBM has also used the Alchemy API to crawl the web to discover words, and this has led to a training data set of 200 plus billion words around 285 times the size of Wikipedia um, and that's what they've managed to create. They also continue to um, update that on a regular basis. So the Alchemy API analysis of word data sets is very advanced as you'll see in the demo later. Here you can see the Alchemy API system where it can take sources of data from the public web, social data, private text and images, data sources from public companies or other companies, uh, process it through the Alchemy language and Al Alchemy vision, uh, and then output it through an API to various different uh, sites. Uh, so this is a recent acquisition by um, IBM. It's also quite accurate. Um, of a corpus of 5,370 tweets, the Alchemy API was found to be 86% um, accurate, um, or accurate at 86% of the time. As language evolves all the time, uh, the Alchemy API retrawls the web regularly, adding over 1 billion tweets per month to its data sets. So it, in doing so, it learns new nuances of speech as it goes along. There are a number of ways of looking at the depth of sentiment analysis. So we can look at the document level, entity level, keyword level, a directional, relational, or user-specified extent. This finer-grained analysis of sentiment analysis, um, sorry, sentiment um, enables more viable business intelligence. So let's look at the document level. The downside of this is that you're really um, rating a document based on its um, positive or negative or mixed sentiment, but that's a crude metric because there are, could be different paragraphs having different sentiment in the same document. So a better way of, is to look at entity level sentiment analysis. For example, you can have a statement, um, it could be negative about a person or a product and positive about another. 
Third party researchers demonstrated this Alchemy API uh, software is, has excellent ex uh, accuracy when it comes to entity extraction. Keyword level sentiment analysis allows you to go and look at keywords such as uh, that might be associated with a product or a product feature. Directional level sentiment analysis reveals who is emitting the sentiment. So for example, uh, if a person spoke negatively about a product, the system would determine not only that the product was mentioned negatively, but who mentioned it negatively. Relational sentiment analysis involves a relations call that identifies the subject action object relations within text and sentiment um, so that you can calculate for each subject or object um, what the relations are. Combined with entity and keyword extraction, relational sentiment can be the basis for powerful search and trend analysis applications. User specified sentiment analysis. If you haven't got um, if none of those things combine work for you, then you can have you can have some arbitrary targets. You can set those and work towards those. You can also look at the intensity of a, a sentiment. So, for example, we can have negations, words that re reverse the polarity of the sentiment. For example, this phone is good to this phone is not good. You can have amplifiers, words that make the sentiment more intense, such as very and diminishes that make it less intense, such as somewhat. Intensity, that is negations, amplifiers and diminishes lead to an intensity score for each detected sentiment. Um, and since there is a big difference between, for example, this coffee is a little sweet and this coffee is totally disgusting, an intensity score shows the intensity of each negative sentiment. So in this eight minute video, there's a demonstration of the Alchemy API at work. Um, so have a look at that. It'll, you can find it on the Moodle um, supporting resources page, uh, which you'll find directly below the lectures section of um, the Moodle site. So let's have a look at uh, another form of sentiment analysis uh, that where you use IBM Big Sheets to do the work. So it also offers, offers this technology called Big Sheets in the case of IBM, uh, where you can harvest tweets over a 24, 48 hour period. You can, could be hundreds of thousands of tweets. Um, and you can do the same kind of thing with SAP text analytics. So in this nine and a half minute video, sentiment analysis using Big Sheets is, look, is looked at. And in particular, you looking at um, discovering patents from a great corpus of knowledge. Um, in this 13 minute video, Twitter data, which you can find on social media, can be analyzed in big sheets. You can import the data and then you can visualize it in the bubble plots. Um, and it's quite interesting what you can do here. You can get the, all the categorizations on the left hand side and then you can click into one of those and so as you see on the screen the mental capacity there's one item uh, of actually what these are is parliament bills that have been debated and so um, you can look to see which MPs debated which ones and which ones were present for all the debates etc um, that kind of thing so you import the data into big sheets and analyze it, visualize it, and then present it. Let's have a look at SAP's contribution to this and sentiment analysis using text analytics. And they have a product, SAP Sentiment Intelligence, uh, which runs in HANA. Uh, so it's very fast because it's a fast database, which sp that speeds up the analysis of Facebook, Twitter, or any other package uh, data with a public API that can be used as a data source. SAP handles text analytics using SAP HANA as a pre-processing engine. So how does this allow sentiment to be extracted, for example, as keywords? And I've described that text analytics process in slides below. Um, 
You can analyze tweets or posts, especially when a hashtag symbol can be quickly associate tweets to categories. There must be data acquisition and uploading, of course, and I haven't shown that as it is necessary, but not for the purposes of an explanation. So here's the, where you gauge sentiment, either positive or negative. Um, so there's both there. What this kind of thing allows us to do is to give give some remedial actions for those people who are negative about a product or service. <coughs> Here's the sentiment analysis process overview. You have the the document which has the opinions in it, etc. Then there's a subject classification, subjectivity classification, sorry. And um, that looks at where the opinions, views, beliefs and sentiments expressed. Uh, that then feeds out to an object feature extraction and an opinion holder extraction. And then that is used to classify sentiment. So here's sentiment classifications. You can also have levels. So strong, weak, plus positive, strong, weak, plus negative or neutral or minor major problem um, so this sentiment classification can have an intensity as well here's how the so for example TA token mountaineering is one of the areas that we're looking at in this case um, SAP HANA will run this very quickly so you can get results quickly and you can visualize the results in SAP Lumira or other bespoke dashboarding tools. So we can look at sentiment analysis as part of CRM and in particular word cloud. So uh, SAP Hybris Marketing is an add-on for the SAP CRM or you can use it in its own right as one of the suite of Hybris applications. Hybris allows us to see the customer engagement through analysis of social media posts and customer interactions. And I've just looked at three slides engaging with contact interests and needs creating a contact list for a campaign as a marketing campaign and sentiment analysis of customer posts so here we see sap hybris marketing contact management and the word cloud there shows people who have been vote most enthusiastic in one particular area at the top we can see these boxes which show that there were six million contacts originally and they've been reduced to 371 through filtering. <coughs> um, and as you click on any of those boxes, you find the word cloud would change in its intensity. So have a look at that two minute video on content management uh, with SAP Hybris Marketing. You can also create target lists. There's a one minute video here which shows you how to do that in Hybris Marketing. Um, you focus on specific tar target groups and uh, well worth watching. SAP Hybris Marketing also allows data management capabilities to reveal positive or negative customer sentiment about products or services. This is another way of doing it and another tool to use for it. Social media driven campaigns are covered in a three minute video on Moodle. So go and have a look. Finally, you can use business objects, SAP business objects, to do sentiment analysis. And here's the tool at work. Uh, it's a five minute video. Here it's analyzing Twitter feeds to examine sentiment, keyword searches, or by a certain handle to see what impact tweets, in this case, may have had. So that's the um, content of the lecture. And uh, now, there are some, there's an exercise to go with this in terms of sentiment analysis and text analytics. So the questions. <coughs> the aim is view the slides and associated videos for this lecture. You'll find the videos in the Moodle section supporting materials directly below the lecture section. They all have a title that starts sentiment analysis. The aim is to understand the many ways to analyze sentiment that social media reveals in particular Twitter, but in fact, anything that uses hashtags or which has an open API. 
the tasks which I'd like you to have a look at. I want you to watch the videos and consider which of the sentiment analysis methods shown is effective or which is the most effective. How does social media reveal the intent of its users to display future buying behaviour? And how does sentiment analysis compare with focus group surveys or TV advertising as a means to accurately predict consumer behaviour? Is customer engagement software like Sat Progress Marketing more effective in retaining clients for companies until now using traditional CRM systems which maybe aren't as slick? How accurately does sentiment analysis software model the real views of social media users? What impact might sentiment analysis have on elections, for example? which they certainly did in the case of the Trump-Clinton um, standoff, face-off 